Okay, that was here. All right, but we're gonna go in about Gad. Okay, so we're gonna start out of, about the origins of Gad. All right, proving he's an Israelite. Okay, all right, and then go into some of the characteristics and attributes of Gad, and then show it from the scriptures going into the Hebrew, and then we'll go into some prophecies on Willem. Okay. But I just had to throw that statement out because I'm I'm growing tired of you wicked ass niggas vexing us, man. Alright? And you brothers, you brothers that's of of the tribes, you should you should feel the same way. Even you brothers that's in the truth, that's not of the the ten tribes or whatever, you should feel offended too that these niggas is coming with such reprobate doctrine, trying to destroy the faith of brothers, man. Okay? All right, so let's go into Genesis. All right, well, let's go into Chronicles first. This is uh, showing the line from, from Adam all the way to Gad. All right, this is First Chronicles chapter 1, verse 1. All right. It says, Adam, Seath, Enos, Kenan, Mahalaliel, Gerard, Henoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Okay, these were the chosen line. Alright, from, from Adam, alright, down to Noah. That's that's what I just read. It's the shortest shorter version. If you want to read the long extensive version, you can read from Gen you can read the whole chapter of Genesis 5. Okay? All right. Okay. This is uh 1 Chronicles 1 and 24. It says Shem our facts that Sela Eber, all right? Because from Noah Shem, alright, Shem was the chosen line, okay, and through Shem was going to come the chosen people, and that's what we're reading, okay, it says Shem, our facts that Shelah, Eber, now the word Eber is Ibar in the Hebrew, or that's what, that's where you get the word Hebrew from, from, from the man named Eber, which in the Hebrew is Ibar, Alright, and the Hebrew is I bar ya. Okay? Cause the ya at the end makes it um of uh it's like the I T E on the end of uh like when you read in the scriptures of the nations like it'll say Israelite. Well when you read it in the Hebrew it'll be Yash Yashallah Ya. Like that. The Ya at the end meaning uh he's of that particular group. Alright, like he's uh he's that, okay? So a Hebrew the word Hebrew is Ibar coming from the, the word Eber, which is Ibar, and a Hebrew would be Ibar yeah, okay? If I'm if I said it right. So Eber, that's where we where we get the term Hebrew from, which the word Eber just means pass. Okay. All right. Verse 25. First Chronicles 1 and 25. Eber, Peleg. The word Peleg means uh, division. In the, in the Hebrew, or the Lashuan Kodash will be um, uh, Palak, which means division. Because he was named, he was born during the time of the Tower of Babel when the tongues, when the Lord com uh, confused everyone's language and separated them amongst their uh, families through their their language okay after he uh, destroyed the Tower of Babel okay he was born during that time Pele then it's Reuel, Shirug, Nahor, Terah, Abram the same as Abraham the son of Abraham Isaac and Ishmael Okay, because Isaac was the chosen. Okay, this is um First Chronicles 
1 and 34. It says, And Abraham begot Isaac, the son of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. Now Israel, all right, is Jacob. Okay? That was his name that was changed after he fought against the angel. Or he wrestled the angel all night. And the angel blessed him and gave him the name Yashar Allah. That's how you say it in the Lashawan Kodasha, the Hebrew, which means the Yah the beginning meaning he, Shar meaning prince. Okay, and Allah, the power of the most high. So he's a prince of God. That's what Yashar Allah means. That's what the name Israel means. Okay, so Isaac had Esau and Israel. This is First Chronicles 2 and 1. It says, These are the sons of Israel. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, and Zebulon, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. All right, so Gad is a son of Israel, okay? All right, so let's go in. That was just proving his lineage from, from, from Adam, all right, all the way to Noah, then from Noah to Shem, one, the chosen son of his three sons, all right? From Shem all the way down to Eber, okay, and then through Peleg all the way down to Terah, to Abraham, then to Isaac, then to Israel or Jacob, because the name is so changed, all right, to Israel, to Gad, okay, that's the lineage, all right, that's the shortest form, all right, if you want the long, extensive one, you can go to Genesis and go through all that. I just want to make it, make it short to the point. Let's go into the the story of uh, Gad. All right, he was the seventh son of Jacob, all right, by Zilpha. Okay, Leah's handmaid. All right. So let's go into that. This is Genesis chapter thirty, verse nine. All right. It says. When Leah saw that she had left barren, she took Zilpha, her maid, and gave her Jacob to wife. Okay? And Zilpha, Leah's handmaid, bare Jacob a son. Jacob is Israel. And Leah said, A troop cometh, and she called his name Gad. Okay? Now the name Gad, alright? In, in the Hebrew is God God G-A-D It's spelled the same way but it's pronounced a little bit different Alright It's a ga and a da So it's combined so it's God Okay Alright he Like I said he was the seventh son of Jacob By Zilpha Leah's handmaid Okay Genesis 35 26 Real quick Then we'll go into his name Genesis 35:26. The sons of Zilpha, Leah's handmaid, Gad and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, which were born to him in Panaram. Okay. All right. So even though they wasn't of Leah, because you even got a doctrine like that, you got these niggas out here saying that. Uh, they don't really count certain tribes due to the fact that the 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 uh, the mother, all right, of the of the child was of another nation. Like Zilpha and Bilhah, they were probably of another nation. They weren't of Hebrew descent. Okay, now Leah and Rachel was okay, but you got you got certain guys out there that don't even accept uh, Gad, Asher. Uh, Naphtali as being of the tribes because their mothers was of of the handmaids of Leah and Rachel okay that's how crazy these niggas are out here but the scriptures say that Gad is a son of Israel so he's of the lineage of Israel he's of the chosen line okay so he's a child of God alright now the name Gad means troop all right. Now, when you look the word up, troop in the in the in the dictionary, it means a body of soldiers, or a synonym will be fighting men. So these were warriors. 
And in other words, they were they were warriors. Okay. Now, 